like we never left BDA, and I wasn't going to do this, but I'm, I keep getting questions about what I thought about it, so let's just address it right now. I'm not going to do the full review, I'm just going to go over what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I think about the series going forward, and that's Boku no Hero Academia, My Hero Academia, whatever you want to you wanna call it. First episode dropped Sunday, people waited up, they had live streams, they had all this stuff in anticipation for My Hero Academia, and I finally understand, seeing the comments, the reaction on Twitter and all this stuff, I finally realized why people are hyping the show up so much. You have the Bleach fans and Naruto fans, some Dragon Ball fans, they feel like their shows are going the wrong way and they need something else, okay? They need something else. They're tired of the One Piece fans talking shit about how One Piece runs shit. They need something else that they can rap, that they can back, that they can support so the One Piece fans can shut up. And I get it. I understand. But My Hero Academia has a long way to go before it's mentioned with One Piece, before it's even mentioned with Bleach and Naruto, honestly. The thing is, I like the animation. The art was meh. And I'm caught up to the manga, so from just the anime and an introduction and an introductory episode, I thought it was pretty good. They built the world really well. They gave an introduction to the main character. Um, they gave an introduction to his main rival, supposedly. I mean, Bakugo is kind of a dick, but that I think that fits him. But then Deku is really soft. He's kind of like Sawadasu and Yoshi. But the thing is, he's had moments early where he looks like he's ready to stand up for himself but then he kind of thinks about it he's like uh you know i should probably think about this and come back another time because when bakugo did that thing he stood up for himself but then he thought about it then it was the time against the monsters he wants to be in the shit because he really loves heroes and he wants to be it but he doesn't have a quirk deku is the main character that you would want to root for though he seems analytical he seems that he's going to go after his dreams no matter what similar to naruto some people have been calling um sky high and it has some similarities to that and I get it but the thing is the reason why this cannot be One Punch Man the reason why I don't think it will have the popularity immediately that One Punch Man had because you know it has a lot of hype I think it has more hype than One Punch Man but One Punch Man kind of gripped you and it, it reeled you in right away because it was different it wasn't the typical shonen it wasn't the typical main character it wasn't the typical story so you liked that because it was a change of pace it was something different. It, it, it made you it made you feel different than every other shonen would. So with this it's, it's similar to every other shonen. So while it is it has more hype, I don't think it is as gripping as One Punch Man. So I don't think My Hero Academia, you can't compare the two. One Punch Man is more of a parody. It's like I said, it's a change of pace. This one is the pretty much it's 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 like Naruto. I know a lot of it's okay. It was, it has some similarities to Naruto, but it's not Naruto, right? It has, it's not Naruto, but you can see some inspiration there. So, from what I like, um, I like the introduction to the story. I like the, the different quirks. I like the heroes. Um, I like the animation. The art was meh. What I did not like was... Mm, I can't think of anything I didn't like. I mean, I, everything was pretty solid. We were a really good first episode. Um, no real dislikes there. I feel like they, they, they accomplished what they were trying to. They kind of reeled in most of the fandom. I've seen some comments as far as people that were split. Some people were like, ah, it's shit. I'm not continuing this. Had some people like, oh man, I can't wait to see what other quirks, you know, people might have. Me, personally, if I could have a quirk, it would be the counter quirk, the quirk where I would take damage, and then I would dish it out to Fold. Um, be like full counter like Meliodas. Every time I think about a power, Meliodas comes to mind because I think Meliodas is a beast and he's a monster, and full counter is amazing so that's what i would use but let me know what you would want as a cork um uh, below i'm not sure like um what you guys thought about this but i thought it was pretty good i will review the series going forward i will not be as late <laughs> as today to, because I, I wasn't gonna do it because of how many people had reviewed it already so this is just a quick discussion just giving you my thoughts and why it's not one punch man but yeah let me know what you thought about it like if you did subscribe to the channel if you have not that would be dope have a good day people